Welcome back to 40 TV. I'm your host, 40. Today I'm doing a review on Apple's Lightning Digital AV Adapter. Basically, if you're looking to get HDMI out of either your iPhone 5, your iPod Touch 5th generation, your iPad 4th generation, or your iPad mini, this is the device you want. On one side, you have the Lightning connector that basically connects to your device. On the other side, as you'll see when I click here, you have a full HDMI cable out, as well as another receiver portion for the, the Lightning connector. This allows you to charge your device while you're doing HDMI out. I'm gonna switch on over to Media Express. Media Express comes bundled with my Blackmagic Intensity Pro capture card. It's the capture software that you need to use. So, this is my iPhone showing up on the screen right here. But before it, had, before it shows up, I had to go into my preferences and change my video format to HD 720p 60 frames per second. If you do not set it to that uh, frame rate and that resolution, it's basically not going to see um, the signal coming out of your uh, eye device. So once you have that set, close that, click on login capture. Another important thing to note is I'm not even sure I can recommend this device. I got it today from Amazon and it's, uh, it, it goes for $10 cheaper on Amazon than it is from Apple. So obviously if you're gonna buy it, go ahead and buy it from Amazon. Um, the device is finicky. It doesn't work all the time. I got it, I connected it, it worked immediately. After doing some playing with it, etc., testing it out, seeing what I wanted to say about it, I decided to start doing a tutorial and then all of a sudden it wouldn't work. It wouldn't show the signal from the device. So I don't know if it's because components inside the adapter overheat. I don't know if it's an issue of the way the iPhone talks to the adapter because basically it's forming a little connection. Inside the adapter, there's some memory inside this unit as well as a CPU. It's like a mini computer. I did some reading online and I'm not the only person having problems with it. However, if you're looking for HDMI out to either place, either capture your, your screencast from your phone, to either do reviews on apps, do game demos, or maybe even just to play videos on your HDTV, this is the only solution at this time. So you may not have another choice, but it's worked on and off today. <laughs> it's, and I can tell you it's, it hasn't worked more than it has. So like I said, for 40 bucks, is it worth it? I don't know. And today's the first day I've had it, so it's not like I've had it for a week. After some time passes, I'll update the description on whether I returned it or whether what I did with it or if it's working finicky or not. I mean, my whole plan was to do a couple reviews on different apps I have for the iPhone. But I'll show you as I swipe my finger here, this picks up all the information that I'm doing. If I click on YouTube, for example, we'll see right now we have 40 TV's channel with uh, all the videos on my channel up. Um, but if you play a video, for example, this is one of the more recent videos. I turn the phone to the side, the orientation switches within the software, and you can see that as this is happening, it's playing the video. There is a little bit of an inset and a border that's happening in the capture. I'm not currently capturing, but I do have a capture here to play for you so you can see what the quality's like. I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video real quick. And uh, yeah, let me go back to my home page, and here we are, or my home screen, right? <laughs> I'm gonna open up that test capture I was telling you about. I'll click on it. It's the same thing. It's of the video. Now, I didn't set audio to be grabbed um, for the screen capture from my computer, only from my mic. So you're not gonna hear any audio as far as uh, this capture is, is concerned. However, the audio capture is pretty good. As far as the video is concerned, it's not bad. I wouldn't call it full HD. Um, but I would call it, uh, yeah, I don't know. There we go. Finally, it's playing. I think my computer just stuttered right there. I, uh, there was no lag as far as the video is concerned. We'll let it finish through, or maybe I'll jump it back to the beginning and start it again just to show you. There was no lag. It was my computer stuttering, so which is pretty odd. But anyways, as you can see, the video isn't bad quality at all. I'm going to go ahead and uh, minimize QuickTime. And no matter what you're opening, you know, whether it's your clock, your photo app, Pandora, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, your text messages, your phone, everything opens up as normal. I'm not sure what I have on here that's private, so I didn't click on anything. <laughs> Anyways, if you have any questions, guys, go ahead and leave it in the comments. And if you like my content, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time.